خلیفہ کے ہم ہیں خلیفہ ہمارا وہ دل ہے ہمارا آقا ہمارا 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 خلیفہ ہمارا وہ دل ہے ہمارا آقا ہمارا وہ دل ہے ہمارا آقا ہمارا السلام علیکم and welcome back to this week with Huzu. We are honored to present highlights of a mulaqat where Hadha Khalifatul Masih Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nasir Al-Aziz graciously met with members of Majlis Khudam Al-Ahmadiyya from USA last weekend. Last Saturday, Khudam from East Region of the United States had the blessing of having a mulaqat with Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nasir Al-Aziz. The 14 Khuddam had travelled especially for the Mulaqat, which took place in the MTA studios in Islamabad. During the Mulaqat, the Khuddam had the opportunity to introduce themselves and seek Hazuri Anwar's guidance on a range of issues affecting the youth. My name is Zohan Ahmed from Willingbar Jamaat. To pray behind you in Islamabad. And enjoy Islamabad. Enjoy and experience Khilafat firsthand. Achha. One of the Khudam asked Hazur about the current state of the war in Palestine. You can't do anything. Isliye you pray, and wherever you have any approach to the politicians, or you can influence them, then ask them. I currently um, work as a registered nurse in Children's yes, Hospital. Achha. I also um, serve in the United States Army, and I would like to know Uzur's guidance. You're serving in the U.S. Army? Yes, Uzur. As a nurse? No, as a, other um, jobs in the Army. Why don't you join the Medical Corps? So instead of soldier, you are a skilled person. You have got your education in nursing, then you will try to join Army Medical Corps. Inshallah. Yeah? Inshallah. That would be better. Inshallah. Then you will not be directly involved in any cruelty committed by the Army. Inshallah. Say <laughs> it. Say it. So I would like to know your guidance um, with regard to all um, Ahmadiyya that are in the military with the current issue. Um, um, going around the world. Um, I know sometimes it's kind of difficult knowing that um, you work for the country, the army, those that are in need. And, uh, you I see, like since you are in the army, so whenever you are asked to go, Take. wherever you are deputed, you will have to go there. Huh? So either you leave the army or join medical corps, as I have said. At least being a medical core worker, you will do some humanitarian work instead of directly involving yourself in cruelty. Although once you have joined the army, then you will have to obey their order. <laughs> so it is better to leave it before that. But nobody knows when the Third World War is starting. Right. So whenever it starts, then you can never excuse yourself. Hmm? Yes, sir. Did you get, receive a premonition or a vision from Allah that you were going to be the next Khalifa? Or was it, was it just by chance? I wanted I to know. I didn't receive anything even <laughs> till the last moment. <laughs> huh? I was just embarrassed when it was announced that I have been elected as Khalifa. And you could see it from my face at that time. Huh? Yes. It was quite embarrassing for me. Till today, I am still, you know, and it's, it's a dilemma for me. I currently work at a bank, mm. but as a wakfano, I feel very unfulfilled as I feel like I should be doing more for the Jamaat. Whenever you have spare time or the weekends, give it to the Jamaat. And uh, being a Secretary of League or among the team members of Secretary of League, you should give more work for the League and make a target for yourself of 10 new converts in a year. Inshallah. 
सेट योर ओन एग्जाम्पल बिफोर द अदर दाई ने लला ठीक है बिल्कुल In Noah's Ark, Hazrat Masih Maud alayhi salam, he talked about how everyone under the four corners of his house would be under the protection of Allah from the calamity ahead. Now, of course, we are from the America uh, Majlis, American delegation, and so this is a very scary thing when we look at the prophecies of the Hazrat Masih Maud for the future of America. Mm. So I wanted to ask, under this prophecy uh, of divine protection from Allah towards those who are true and sincere Ahmadi Muslims, do we have uh, this same protection? um as being But you see it has some preconditions because it not don't call yourself amdi by name but by deed if you are good you are following the commandments of allah taala you are following all the injunctions given in the holy quran you are praying all your daily prayers fervently sincerely then you will be saved hazrat musim ul salatu salam has said aag hai par aag se wo sab bachaye jayenge जो कि रखते हैं खुदा जोल अजायब से प्यार देर इज़ फायर बट ऑल विल बी सेव फ्राम देट फायर हु आर सिंसियर एंड लव अल्लाह तला देन यू हैव टू जज योर सेल्फ डू यू हैव दैट इन डेप्थ लव फॉर अल्लाह तला इन योर हार्ट इफ यू हैव देन यू विल बी सेव एंड ऑल दोज हु हैव दे विल बी सेव सो डिस्चार्ज योर ड्यूटीज यू ओर टू अल्लाह तला and discharge your duties you owe to your fellow beings inshallah theek hai then you will be saved inshallah theek hai i i request prayers for the youth of america our khudam and atfal uh for their well being and for their future tarbiyat allah taala bless you um jazakallah allah taala bless you jamaat jaise ye khudam and make them sincere to their faith inshallah make them strong and staunch ahmadis हजूर इस्लाम से इसके डू नो डू नो हर लेकिन फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब हम किसी की हेल्प करते हैं हमारी नीयत साफ़ होती है बट इट स्टिल एंड अप हार्मिंग दैम उनका फिर भी नुकसान हो जाता है तो हम तो अपने आप को तसली दे लेते हैं कि हमारी नीयत साफ थी तो जो अगला जिस बंदे का नुकसान होता है वो उसको उस नज़रिए से नहीं देखता तो अल्लाह ताली इस सिचुएशन को कैसे देखते हैं कि बिकॉज वी फील लाइक कि हमारी नीयत साफ थी all your deeds depends on your intentions mm-hmm. agar aapki intention achhi hai then allah taala sees your intention okay theek hai aur whether wo dekhe dusra banda isko sahi ya na hai if your intention is good then allah will reward you if your results are not good and you have not done anything wrong intentionally then I love it just cover that flaw okay. mistake if there is any mistake huh ji theek hai haan ji ab is liye ko yaad rakho ki jo kaam karna hai ye dekhna ki allah is watching over me agar wo theek hai allah ka khauf hai then no need to fear anybody hazur uh, i had a question um you know how when we go out in the you know in colleges and everything um there's like women um alcohol drugs all that stuff um how can we you know guide ourselves in the right path as i've already said keep yourself away from all these bad things do istighfar whenever you see such things you do istighfar allah taala says an illag wa murizun when you see all these nonsense just turn your face from them haan ji and go to the other way this is how you can save yourself recite auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem repeatedly ji ha and astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli dhanbin wa atubu ilayh ji and offer five daily prayers and pray in those your prayers that allah taala save you from all those bad things evils of the society ji so the society is full of evils nowadays and they are attracting you so this is how you can fight with satan ji hmm Now this is the wrestling between you and Satan. Hanji. Then now let's see who wins. Inshallah, I do. Acha, yes. Inshallah. Can you, can you please pray and that I do? If you are, if you are determined to, to win, then Inshallah you will win. Inshallah, Inshallah. My question is in regards to the atfal, their parents, and the atfal is tarbiyat. So uh, many times, or sometimes, I've seen the fathers of the atfal. They uh, tend to hold a laid-back. Um, they they tend to be more laid back in the in their observance of their 
atfals dar biet, such as like bringing them to the masjid for atfal class, or even just being regular in their religious knowledge. Um, I've noticed a lot of the responsibility gets pushed onto the mothers of the atfal. So I was wondering. So, the fathers are not discharging their duties pro properly. And the whole burden is on the shoulder of mothers. Hmm. Eh? And uh, especially uh, as far as boys are concerned, when they reach to certain age, then they don't want to listen to their mothers until and unless fathers are involved in it. So then, in such cases, Khudamulamdiya, should take care of those children, make friends of those people, and then get some people from among the atfal and khudam of their age, and then make the friendship of those people with the trained atfal and khudam. And in this way, you can get them attached to the jamaat. So, although it is challenging, but you will have to work hard, make friendship with those people, and help the mothers. And also ask the fathers that they should also feel their responsibility and give some attention to their children instead of just involving themselves in worldly affairs. So ask Khudamul Amdiya and Ansarullah also. There should be joint concerted effort of Khudam, Atfal and Ansar and Lajna as well so that the peoples are better trained and attached to the Jamaat and the system. You see, if any of these parents are lazy or irresponsible, then you cannot do anything. Then, of course, this is quite challenging thing, but for that you will have to work hard. Take So, this is the only thing, help the mothers ask the mothers what type of help they need from you and then extend your help to them. Take care. Take care. There are a lot of khadam moving out to go to school or even after school for new job opportunities. What is your advice for them to stay connected to Jamaat in a new environment? Wherever they are moving, if there is any Jamaat there, then you should ask them. Whenever they are moving from one majlis to the other majlis, then the Khudamul Amdiya system should be quite efficient. Whenever they come there, then immediately they take them into their arms and fold of the system so that they remain attached to the Jamaat and the majlis. So if they are well trained, if the tarbiyat is good from the very beginning, so those who are attached to the Jamaat in one majlis, they will definitely get themselves attached to the Jamaat in the other majlis. Eh? They cannot live without the Jamaat. Yeah. But if they are lazy in the first Jamaat, they will remain be lazy in the second Jamaat. So <laughs> it is up to you that whenever they you know, move to, from one Jamaat to the other Jamaat or majlis to the other majlis, your respective secretary tarbiyat or nazam tarbiyat should try to get hold of them, contact them, and then bring them near to the jamaat. It all depends on the efficiency of your system in your respective jamaats. Huh? Mm -hmm. One if a person moves from one jamaat to the other, immediately the qaid or the nazam of the previous jamaat should inform the other Jamaat that the person is moving to their Jamaat, so try to contact him. Okay. And also, they should be well trained and well connected with the Jamaat, in the, that whenever they move from one place to the other place, they themselves try to contact the Majlis and Jamaat there. They don't let them go astray and just get, get hold of them immediately whenever they move from one place to the other place. As the mulaqat concluded, the Khadam had the opportunity to have a photo with Hazrat Amir al muminin and received the gift of pens. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Those were highlights from a mulakat that took place last weekend. We now end with our final segment, the Friday Sermon Summary. In today's Friday Sermon, Hazur, may Allah be his helper, continued his sermons on the incidents from the life of the Holy Prophet wasallam, and spoke regarding the treachery of the Banu Nadir tribe. Hazur, may Allah be his helper, narrated an incident of how a Jewish man from Banu Nadir recognized the prophethood of the Holy Prophet وسلم, as foretold in the Torah. Rasulullah sallallahu ke jane ke baad ki tafseel mein yehudiyon ke ravaiye ke bare mein likha hai ke yehud apne kiye par bahut sharminda the ek yehudi ke nana bin suwaira ya suriya ne kaha kya tum log jante ho ke muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yahan se kyon uth kar chale gaye unhone kaha allah ki qasam hame to maloom nahi tumhe kuch pata hai to bata do usne kaha to raat ki qasam بلا شبہ میں جانتا ہوں کہ محمد کو خبر کر دی گئی ہے جو تم نے اس کے ساتھ دھوکے کا ارادہ کیا چنانچہ تم اب مزید اپنے آپ کو دھوکے میں نہ رکھو اللہ کی قسم بلا شبہ وہ اللہ کے رسول ہیں اور وہ اٹھے بھی اس لیے ہیں کہ انہیں بدریہ وہی بتا دیا گیا ہے کہ تم دھوکہ دہی سے کام لینا چاہتے تھے یقیناً وہ آخری نبی ہیں تم چاہتے تھے کہ آخری پیغمبر ہارون کی نسل سے آئے لیکن اللہ تعالیٰ نے جہاں سے چاہا انہیں مبوس فرمایا بلا شبہ ہماری کتابیں جنہیں ہم تارات میں پڑھتے ہیں وہ تبدیل نہیں ہوئیں ان میں یہ لکھا ہوا ہے کہ اس نبی کی پیدائش مکے میں ہوگی اور وہ یسرف یعنی مدینہ میں ہجرت کرے گا اس کی جو صفات ہماری کتاب تورات میں بیان کی گئی ہیں صرف اور صرف ان پر صادق آتی ہیں میں دیکھ رہا ہوں کہ تمہیں خون خرابے کے سوا کچھ نہیں ملے گا تم اپنے اموال جائیدادیں اور بچے روتے بلکتے چھوڑ جاؤ گے اگر تم میری بات مان لو تو تمہارا شرف و وقار باقی رہے گا